In this video, we are going to learn about pull up and pull down register. Why we use it and where can we use it? So to understand this, we need to have a basic understanding of logic states in digital circuits. Basically, we can understand with this tri state buffer. This is a control logic B and A is input and this C is the output. And in simple way, we can imagine this with B is a switch which acts as a control signal. If this control signal is not enabled or we can say this switch is open, in that case it will not pass the input A to the output C. So when this B is closed and its input is high, the same will be carried out at C also. It will be at logic high state. And when input A is at logic low state, then this output C will be having logic low state as well. So these two cases of logic high and logic low is when this switch is connected. But when this switch is open, so whatever we pass at input either logic high or logic low, it will not be passed to output C. So in this case, this C will be at floating state or high impedance state. So whenever we read input of a switch or any input in the microcontroller, it must be read as either logic high state or logic low state. So we need to avoid this floating state or high impedance state. So to do that, we use either pull up register or pull down register. So let's understand now how can we remove this floating state with the help of pull up or pull down register. First for pull up register. So when one end of the register is connected to logic high, here this is plus 5 volt and from the another end of register we are taking the input and this register is called pull up register as it is pulling up this input to the high state and from this point we are taking the input of this switch whether it is pressed or not when this switch is pressed it will make a short circuit here and will get logic low at this input but when switch is not pressed in that case it will not make a short circuit here and it will be at logic high state as this is pulled up to the 5 volt. But think about the scenario when we do not have this pull up register. What will happen in that case? So in that case if this switch is pressed then this will make a short circuit and will get logic low here. This is fine. But when this switch is not pressed what will happen in that case? It will not make a short circuit here and as this is not connected to this pull up register so it will not be at high state as well in that case it will be at floating state so with the help of this pull up register we can avoid the floating state scenario similarly with the pull down register we can avoid the floating state scenario in this case if we see when the switch is pressed in that case it will be at plus 5 volt or logic high state but when this switch is not pressed so it will not make a short circuit here so it will be pulled down and will get logic low here at the input so now we understood that with the help of pull up or pull down register we can remove the floating state scenario let's understand now where we can use pull up and where we can use pull down register almost all microcontroller or any digital chips which is taking as input is having internal input impedance or internal resistor with very low value connected to the ground so in this case when this switch is pressed will get the logic low at this input pin and when this switch is open will get the VDD or logic high at this input because this input is connected to this pull up register. But think about the scenario when we remove this external pull up register what will happen in that case? In that case when this switch is pressed will get logic low value 
no problem but when the switch is open then it is not connected to ground but with this input impedance it is connected to the ground so in both condition whether the switch is pressed or not will get logic low only so to avoid this scenario we use pull up resistor so, so this doesn't make sense at all but we can have another approach as well just see like what will happen when we connect it to VDD or high voltage so when we do that and this switch is pressed we'll get VDD here or logic high here at the input pin but when this switch is open in that case we'll get logic low as this is having input impedance which is connected to the ground so in this way we get logic low when this switch is open and logic high when this switch is pressed so this is another kind of approach and it will work correctly but very often we do not use external pull up register as you can see one end of this switch is connected to the ground as you can see here it's connected to gnd ground and another end of this switch is connected to the input pin of this microcontroller there is no pull up register at all so what happens in that case so in this case usually we used to configure this pull up register internally with the help of software in the software we set this input pin of microcontroller is having internal pull up register so instead of external pull up register we can have here internal pull up register also and this is configurable we can either configure uh, two pull up register or pull down register with the help of programming or software so this approach is also used in the industry but so as a suggestion or safety purpose we must use external pull up register to avoid any kind of confusion as you can see here when this switch is closed s1 is closed it will read logic low or zero and when this switch is open in that case this pin is internally connected to the 5 volt or pulled up to the 5 volt and it will be read as logic high or 1 so now we understood that what is pull up register what is pull down register why to use this pull up and pull down register and how can we use it and the whole thing we understood with the help of microcontroller unit but this is used at other places also let's understand a basic use case of uh, this pull up register it is used in communication protocol also here you can see if uh, you would have used this i2c communication protocol which is uh, very popular it has uh, two lines one is clock scl another is data line sda so in this communication what happens the communication starts only when this start condition is met or we can say this bus is active only when this start condition is met so what is this start condition it is when this clock line is high and this data line shifts from high state to low state it is considered as a start condition of this i2c bus and thereafter it can have payload or some data to be transferred from master to the slave and this communication can be stopped with the stop condition what is this stop condition it is just ulta or reverse of this start condition in a start condition when scl clock line was high and it shifted from high to low so in a stop condition this clock line should be high and it should shift from logic high to logic low just ulta you just see here it is just reverse of this start condition so in this communication normally both sda and scl is normally should be at high state or logic high state so for this purpose for this line where this scl clock line and sta data line is connected to the many devices must be pulled up with the pull up register so that in normal condition it can have logic high state to avoid the floating scenario if suppose this is not connected to the pull up register what happens 
if this SCL is at high state, this data line will be floating and it can be taken either as logic high or logic low. So the start condition and in condition it will get automatically without uh, starting the communication from any of the device as a master. As we know that in I2C, master only initiates the communication. So when this pull up register is not connected, randomly this start condition and stop condition will be received and some garbage data can be collected. So to avoid this, we can have this pull up register. So that's all as of now regarding pull up and pull down register. Let me know if you have any doubt or any suggestion about this topic or anything further you want to understand, please do comment for that. Thank you so much for watching this video.